The theme of this week is going to be all centered around core, core stability, core strength. And then we're going to be shifting into, and this is all building us up to our Saturday Deconstruct workshop, where we're gonna be focusing on headstands, forearm balances, and introductions into handstands. So everything that we're doing this week is going to feed into Saturday. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super excited. I'm very excited. Okay, it's 7.30. I'm gonna let whoever comes in after this just come in. We're gonna get started laying down on our backs today. So when you're ready, you can make your way to your mat. <laughs> Good morning, L. Is it Piccoli? Pica Pic was I right? Kinda, or was it wrong? It was wrong. <laughs> Okay, you can send me a voice note later. LP. We have a million L's in this challenge. Um, tons of Alexandra's, <laughs> Stephanie's. So I'm gonna have to start coming up with nicknames for some of you. Hi, Lori. Good morning. So laying down on your back any way that you like, you can have the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. Or your feet wide and your knees in. Morning. So if you haven't yet already, take a really nice deep breath in. Big breath out. Don't think, just feel. I know for most of us, it's still pretty early in the morning. So even if you're not fully awake or like fully present in here just yet, you will be by the time we're done. Slowly unfolding into awakeness. When you start to do that just by deepening your breath in through your nose and out of your nose, really taking your time to fill the lungs as you inhale. Letting the belly rise and then the chest rise. Initiating the rhythm of your practice, which always comes back to your breath. or your breath rather is the element of our practice that helps us weave all these elements together. All the different elements, physicality, breath, awareness, our emotions. When you're ready, hug your knees into your chest, wiggle your toes, roll your ankles, get into your fingers, your wrists. Starting to work out all the kinks. Open up your arms nice and wide. Knees hover over your hips, ankles line up with your knees. Breathe in. As you exhale, slowly let both legs fall over to the right. Keep them glued into one big juicy leg. Legs slowly fall to the floor. When the legs land, as you inhale, press your top hip down and away from you, lengthening out your left side torso. As you exhale, pull the belly button back to spine and rinse through your center. Again, inhale, lengthen, crown of the head reaches up, tailbone reaches down. 
Get long through the spine and then as you exhale, you focus on rinsing. <sighs> Inhale, come back up through center one leg at a time. Knees connect, breathe in. And as you exhale, slowly let your legs fall over to the left. Take your time. Try to stack them evenly on top of one another so the right leg is directly on top of the left. It's not uh, slightly behind. Knees are stacked. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly to spine. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale brings you back up through center. One leg at a time. Flex your feet, squeeze your legs together, press your palms down into the floor. So a little more active this time. Inhale. As you exhale, your legs slowly, slowly, slowly start to fall to the right. Keep your feet flexed, your leg muscles engaged. Hover an inch above the mat. Hold. Three. Use your arms to help you, support you. Two. Let your legs fall all the way down into the floor. Inhale, press the top hip down and away. As you exhale, belly button to spine, left side rib cage draws back. And on this side, just do a little articulation with the tailbone. So think about like popping your booty out. Uh-huh. And then tucking your tailbone under in the opposite. And it's just a small and subtle shift. Just noticing the difference between your bum popping out, the tailbone tucked under. And if there's like no difference at all, that's also okay. Just observing looking in different corners. Keep your legs together, press your palms down into the floor. So really using the upper body to support you here. Squeeze and activate leg muscles, muscles hug bone. Inhale, bring your legs up in one piece. As you exhale, slowly start to drop them over towards the left. Keep the knees together. Legs hover an inch above the mat. We hold for three, for two. Let your legs fall all the way down. Inhale, press the top hip down and away from you. Exhale, belly to spine, twist. And then just those small articulations with the tailbone, like you're flossing. Tailbone under, pop it out. Doesn't have to be a massive action. You could always try it on and if you hate it, it's fine. You can stay in stillness or in the reaching rather. Press your palms into the floor, activate your thighs, squeeze muscle to bone. Press down through every fingertip. Inhale brings you back up through center. Exhale takes your hands behind your head. Breathe in. Exhale, head and shoulders lift up off the mat. Find that imprint. Make sure your knees aren't too close to you. Stack them right over top of the hip bones. Pubic bone to belly button. Upper ribs in. So we worked on this a lot on Saturday. We pulled this apart. When we're gonna just like work this all week, repetition, 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 pubic bone to belly button, upper ribs in. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Even this should be a good amount of work for you. Your core should be quivering just a little. Float your tailbone off the mat. So squeeze your knees a little closer to you. Roll the low back up and away and then slowly bring it back down. <sighs> Coming back up for two, tuck the tailbone under, pubic bone to belly button to lift tailbone off the mat. Good, and release. Nice, keep the head lifted, back up for three. <sighs> and down. Even if it doesn't get off the ground today, just imagine it will. Four. You keep working as if it's already there. Back up, five. There's slow articulation, slow rolls, deep core, six. Tailbone up and down. Seven and down. Eight. Nine. 